Alchemist Bounty Rune. Of course, we know Evil Genius is already stationed up at the bottom lane, but Shadow's in a good place to be able to stop this smoke, potentially. And he's also a hero that is unlikely to die to this combination. If he gets disrupted, and they try and go for the stun, he can just spin, but... Maybe they can still surround him enough that he can actually lay this trap down. Shadow's gonna be caught and surrounded by two heroes on both sides. He's gonna be forced into spin here, but Universe is gonna hold off for his stun. They're gonna be able to body block him. Dive right in his face. They're gonna be able to hit the stun, and that'll be the first blood. Evil geniuses, geniuses indeed. Universe didn't even stun there to, uh, during, the, during the spin, knowing that he would spin. Yep. Uh, make it so the lane isn't so easily pushed in. Having a last hit under tower right now, which is rather hard. Faith Beyond may be caught here. The top lanes are going to be able to lead with the disruption. Quickly surround him, and Faith Beyond throws Cogs out, but it doesn't matter. Look at why in the mid lane, though. He's eyeing that chicken, and it's oh, coming straight down. And this at the is bottom. big. That, yeah, Courier's done Don't for. He tries to go up to the trees, but there's no path available. That is a bottle down, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And Samael we'll is going to be missing that one. On top of that. Standard pick for them, but it very, works very well into their strategy. Covers a lot of potential gaps that uh, Wings may have against his Evil Genius's lineup. Zai's trying to be as disruptive as possible. Barring that, at least pick up some uh, early experience where he can get those higher levels of living armor. Sumail kind of needs it. Meanwhile, the top lane, they're going to go once again on the Fade Beyond. Yo, there goes the Paralyzed the Cat. That one's actually going to hurt quite a bit. Crit is in some serious trouble. They're going to be able to run him down quite easily. But Arteezy, he might be able to get Innocence on the other side. Fade Beyond bends the back with the cards. But unfortunately, our poor Witch Doctor is still stuck in the trees. Meanwhile, they also at bottom lane managed to get that Tree and Protector. Kind of unsure about how to tackle the jungle. They know that EG is pretty light on vision in that area, but they don't have any vision of their own. However, Faith Beyond does constantly throw out rocket flares. Why? In the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, he grabs the illusion rune, but he's quickly going to be gobbled up by a bunch of evil geniuses' heroes. Living armor will help protect crit er, for now. There is a sun strike ready to go. Maybe we'll see Blink try and throw it out to catch him. Crit not going to be stumbling into that one. We'll manage to sidestep that one away. So here in the bottom lane looks like they're gonna run four into this safe lane of wings try and catch ice ice make sure he doesn't get an early blink tag or anything like that quick sets it up with the disruption the tps are actually gonna come in here baby Beyond is gonna be the leading tp already the support is down but he managed to catch rtz inside of the cogs now there's tp in from y completes but he can't really stop this rage up life stealer at least not yet anyway zai provides a free escape for rtz who actually pops out of that invis to be able to slow down shadow with the open wounds evil genius is covering their track as they get a support kill and force wings rotation. May just come a bit too late. Zai is going to be able to spot out Faith Beyond if he comes into this area. Almost right clicks him. Hold on to it. He's trying to set this trap. Faith Beyond realizes, uh oh, hey, hold up. I'm stuck here. What's happening? Disruption's going to be laid out. He's going to try and force staff himself out of this one, but he's already been hit by the stun of Universe. Can't get the cogs down in time. He's trapped two heroes inside with him, so evil geniuses will be able to execute that gank onto the clockwork. Link reveal, although I'm not too sure uh, Wings were able to see it in time. More likely than not, they did. However, two, observe, two supports are sitting there. They had to scan down. Oh, and Universe is going to be able to run into both of them. They're going to be able to get Innocence real quickly. Ice Ice is going to be next targeting. He got the Circle Wards down. The Overgrowth is going to be able to stop Faith Beyond from being too disrupted. They're trying to finish off Ice Ice, but it gets so much done. He basically stole it off our teasing by getting those disables off. Now Universe has to try and TP away. He will be successful. No disables coming out there. Faith Beyond looking for the plus one. They already got the Life Stealer, the big win. But unfortunately, he can't actually find anybody else. They have no counter vision. And so this nature's guys will allow everybody to be able to walk away. Keep up the pressure. They're going to lay down the Serpent Wards here on the mid-tier two. Evil Genius is already smoked up looking for their initiation. And they're going to try and wrap around perhaps from behind Universe. He's carrying RTZ inside of him right now. Their tier two is about to be dropped by Serpent Wards. Nobody really wants to come forward, but instead he was denied. But actually, to get the jump, they already managed to get Blink. The Force Out comes out from Faith Beyond, but it's not going to be enough. Crit is going to be dropped on by a Meteor. Just almost saves himself with a disruption. Not quite there. Still, though, as support goes down in exchange for the two cores of Wings, Wings get the tier two tower and will manage to get everyone else out to safety. 
As EG take control of the Radiant Jungle, they set up four Observer Wars around the map. Roshan is up, they have Slardar on their team, so a lot of uh, potential opportunities for EG. Smoke straight into the heroes, they're gonna be able to find Grit immediately, that's gonna be first one, but at the same time, they've already taken a support in a return. Universe and Arteezy find their initiation onto the Witchstalker. Now some male's gonna be coming in, full out, unstable concoction, but Universe gonna be caught. Omni Slash, long range from Shadow's gonna be able to rip him apart, and now it's gonna be left with just the three enemy people geniuses. It's Male, he gets snatched up. I is gonna be able to grab with the shackles, lock him inside with the cog, definitely glass over the top. Clockwork disappears, and now Wings not feeling as comfortable as some male and Arteezy turn and man fight. Maybe side grade for him. So the net worth looks really nasty if you're looking at it from Wings' point of view. 11,000 in favor of the Alchemist, but as of this point, it's gonna be... There's the initiation. The Lincolns is up on Blink. That's gonna be able to slow down some of this. And to get the cogs separating Arteezy from Blink, and he's gonna be able to get some stuns out. Zai is immediately blown up thanks to the help of the Shadow Shaman as he tried to come across for the overgrowth. So Mail's gonna be able to come forth. Slow down these heroes. Nice two-man crush out from Universe. He slows down Shadow to street, but they can't quite keep up with him. Maybe it's gonna be Innocent who dies instead. Arteezy's race not gonna be wearing out too quickly. He goes and fits. Then he stopped the kill, and it looks like Ice Ice is also going to be caught here. The Amplify damage, he gets ripped apart by evil geniuses, and there is only one buyback here on the clockwork, so Wings may just have to give up a lane of Brax, if not more. ...in position, and it looks like Wings will either have to fight or concede this lane of Brax. They still have the cliff up, however, but EG are rolling down the lane. Two and a half minutes left on Aegis, they should be very happy about this opportunity that they've been granted. Melee Rack still at a thousand HP. And with that round, Wings just really don't have that much left. Juggernaut already uses Spyback, and they did get rid of the Aegis, but Alchemist seems to be unstoppable at this point, unless he gets War Trap at this moment, but Force Staff will push him to safe. Juggernaut kind of left out on his low, so. Inside the clock, man. Out of the clock. So they're going to pass the clock to us. <laughs> Evil geniuses are forced back once again. Expire. EG still have not gotten this prized melee rack despite several minutes of siege. How's it going, Cap? <laughs> it, it's going all right. Man. All right, new headset, everybody. We're Woo! back. I'm sorry. I don't know if, you guys, if I went out on stream. But hello, theater. I love you guys. Jump in, universe. Infest dump or TG pop. They actually latch onto nothing there. They're gonna try and get Ice Ice and Stephanie to go up some stuff. There's no physical damage coming out. Evil Genius is taking caught. Arteezy, he gets the disruption, the temporary reprieve. He's gonna be forced out of the cog, but the male, he's trying to create something. Universe goes in big time with a crush. The male turns, but it's just not enough. The obvious line, it finishes up universe and EG. They're lacking up later now as they go for it for this push. So many heroes of wings are low, but Arteezy, he tried to dare. Wings to go onto him, and without the rage, they might just apply. They're moving forward. Ice turn sees the male instead, but they've been taken out by the Shamus. Everybody's so low from Wings. The damage over time from EG is too much to handle. RTZ dies. He gets zapped out by the shock. The male is still good, and he's going to be able to regen up, particularly with that living armor. They are good, but Wings inevitably will be holding on to this melee rack. EG are trying to force it so badly, but Wings, they stand strong for now against the boys in blue. Anything more than like 2,000 gold, mm -hmm. but when you're an alchemist, you have to you gotta beef it up. I mean, Arteezy still needs uh, an abyssal blade of his own. Smoke coming in, crit. 
Ice Knight looking to make that initiation, but he can't quite get it. The range is too fast. And now Ice with some serious trouble and a big close shot. Power CZ pops down. Hello, gonna be able to take out that support. But unfortunately, the close tap. Oh no, of course that. It actually saves it and puts him right on top of the support. Gobbles him down and backs away. The rest of evil geniuses start surging forward. They say surge, but it's a snail's pace. And that Ice Wall keeps them from being able to come forward. Fake Beyond should be the hero caught his team. Blink doesn't even blink. He just keeps on running. He knows his uh, his supports are all gone, as is his offlaner. No buyback there. You know, they've got this uh, this big old tier 3 tower. They can go ahead and start chipping it away with these illusions. They don't necessarily need to make any huge commitment. They're actually looking towards that range racks as well. Anytime they try and defend the range racks, get some damage on the tier 3. But now the jump forward comes forward. They're actually going to pop and push him out of the wards. Unfortunately, that there is now Juggernaut. He just gets exploded. And all of a sudden, E tier is just going to be able to come forward and take out so many of these heroes. Both the wards are going to be caught easily with the crush. All of their hopes lay on the invoker now. But there's nothing he can do without the damage. Evil Genius is swift. Comes through and takes this game one. Wings with nothing they can do. But watch their racks. He blows inevitably their ancients. Universe. As Teddy is always getting that crush on the end onto Shadow. Shadow, he went full tanky with this build, but just not enough. There was so much minus armor on the side of EG that if he just makes one mistake like he did right then, he's just gonna die. Wings, they try to go ahead and shut down the Alchemist Swarm or match it with their two cores, but it seems like the efficiency of Evil Geniuses does play out in this game number one.